Hi, welcome everyone to this uh, Ask Me Anything session. So I'm Fabien, I'm the founder of Odoo, and you can, you can ask me questions about everything, pretty much everything. Not my wife, she doesn't want me to talk about her. But you can ask questions about Odoo, the strategy of Odoo, the product of Odoo, about uh, management. Uh, I'll try to do my best to uh, answer all your questions. So you ask your question in the chat, I will pick the question one by one, and I'll try to answer them all. And uh, we'll start with uh, Puya, who say, is saying that it's fantastic and that he enjoys the spirit. Thank you, it's a good question to start with. Uh, when will the iPhone Odoo app be fixed? Um, I believe you should send your ticket to odoo.com slash elf if, if you have issues. Because uh, for us it's fixed. We had a few issues with uh, Apple because they wanted, wanted us to change several things like the home screen of Odoo with all the apps. They didn't like that, so we had to develop another way um, that are, so that we pass their policies. So we did some change over the past month. If you still have an issue, just report it, we'll fix it because we think it's uh, working right now. And the new website feature, I'll just have some, <laughs> thank you. Um, so a question from Daria, can you provide access to an enterprise repository like in getting started? So we do provide access to the enterprise repository for uh, customers. So if you purchased an Odoo Enterprise, you might request access to the enterprise repository. We don't provide a free trial or getting started to the source code uh, of uh, the enterprise, obviously, otherwise a lot of people would cheat. Um, but if you want to test the enterprise feature, you can still go on odoo.online or odoo.sh and create a free trial and test all the features from there. Um, it's, it's very easy. If you want to develop modules, one of the things you should know is that um, the modules that works on community also works on enterprise. So basically, pretty much all the module works on both versions. So the way you develop it is exactly the same from community to enterprise. Odoo Enterprise is actually just a set of modules on top of Odoo Community. So it's very easy. It's not like it's a different product. It's the same product. It just has more uh, modules. Um, what was your inspiration and motivation for this huge and the whole? Uh, I believe when I was started, I was young and naive, and I did not imagine how complex it would have been to do that. But uh, my motivation today is the following. When you look at small and mid-sized companies, they are really, really bad managed. It's, it's, uh, I mean, you see managers that are doing the same thing since 10 years, that don't even notice that we can work in a better way. They have a lot of people doing administrative tasks, they will have slow software, we record several times the same document. And, and people really suffer from that. Um, I, I, I was uh, visiting an uh, inventory company, uh, an invent a warehouse uh, one week ago, and I was surprised because out of the seven workers who were moving parts in the warehouse, they had 3.5 3 people recording all the transactions that the worker were doing in the system. So it basically means that 35% of the workforce was just recording data in the system every time somewhere we're moving goods. I mean, it's very, it's totally inefficient. And people suffer from that. I mean, everyone wants to be efficient and contribute. And if you have too much administrative tasks, if you don't have the right tools, people will be desperate and want, might not be happy at work. So my motivation today is that is that I believe we can provide better tools to people so that they can do more in, in less time. And it's important because people spend one third of their time at work. So it's important that for them to have joy in what they do and uh, be able to contribute more because everyone wants to contribute to their company. How do you plan to use this methodology with big companies who are using solutions which are more flexible such as SAP and Oracle? It's a question from Guy. I believe, Guy, you don't know SAP or Oracle. Otherwise, you won't say that it's flexible. <laughs> or if you know SCP and Oracle, you don't know Odoo. But uh, clearly, uh, there is no comparison anymore. We have made comparison with the top expert, the, the biggest integrator, the SAP Platinum Partner. They bring their top expert. And we did the same with Microsoft Dynamics, a few Platinum Partner. They bring their top expert to analyze Odoo. They were literally uh, totally impressed. I mean, Odoo is so much uh, ahead of uh, this product that there is no comparison anymore. So the, the issue with big companies is not about the product. The product, we, we already won the war uh, by, by far. The issue is more about the, the branding. We are not recognized on this uh, market. So we are still perceived as a new player and people don't know what we have. 
So usually what happens, we suffer to enter in the discussion. So, uh, and when there is an RFI, we are usually uh, not efficient at answering to large companies because we are not, do, not as good as the others uh, in very complex process, uh, sales process. But once we start to show the product after the RFP, or just before the RFP, or during the year RFP, when we start doing demos, uh, then it's usually where we won, where we win because our product is really kicking it. Kicking it. I do find Odoo having nice feature and was speaking a lot, I speak to Luca, becoming a Odoo partner. But I first want to find things out and educate myself with Odoo before I will talk to customer. Well, it's, it's, it's a good approach. Uh, the best way to do that is to go to the e-learning of Odoo. So I'll show you where it is on my uh, laptop. So if we can share my screen, if you do that on odoo.com slash slides, oh, I'm French, sorry. Uh, let's switch to English. We have uh, e-learning videos and it's pretty good and you can start and they are all free so you don't need to be a partner and you can start uh, learning about the software there. You go on Odoo Online, you create uh, free trial instances, you follow the e-learning and that's what basically what we ask all our new employees to do for the first two weeks when they join the company. Uh, and then af after doing that and practicing on this video, you can get to a very good level uh, of understanding of the product uh, before meeting the customer. So it's a good advice because really the difference between the best partners and the average one is their knowledge of the product. So it's important to have a good knowledge. It would be, it would be hard for Odoo to convince companies with complex workflow to change the method of operations to Odoo's way. Uh, not to say maybe a bit arrogant for Odoo sites to demand this. But usually we don't need to demand people to change the workflow because our software is so flexible, especially with Studio and all the apps we have that um, we usually allow, to, we usually uh, support the workflow of the companies uh, with the software. Obviously, it depends on the size of the company. When it's a large company, you have more developments. When it's a small one, like less than 50 and sometimes less than 100, you can do it full standard. Um, but we have less, uh, on average, we have way less development than traditional uh, companies. What I see on the market is that uh, our competitors like Microsoft Dynamics or SAP, when they need to uh, answer an RFP, they usually answer every five or six different products. So they have the ERP and then they have to add the e-commerce to that, the business intelligence, maybe an ETL data warehouse. And usually they make a, an offer for large projects, they have an offer with uh, five, six different projects to cover the need of the customer. And we most of the time answer with only Odoo. And because of that, our price is two times cheaper, the project is faster. So it's a huge ad competitive advantage for us. Um, and in terms of workflow, we usually cover pretty well the workflow. Sometimes we have to adapt it, but uh, it's much easier to cover all the workflow with Odoo, especially with the spreadsheet and, uh, and Studio and all the apps we have uh, from the community and the App Store. Uh, how can we have a testing environment before becoming a partner? You can go on Odoo uh, online. So if you go to our website, uh, you can start, now it's free. I click on this button and you start your instance. You can create as much instance as you want and play with the software as much as you want. If you want to test uh, with the source code to develop things, but what matter is really the soft is, is really the feature, the business feature and not to develop things. You have to start from the business first and develop after. Uh, you can start with Odoo community, which is the open source version of Odoo, odoo.com slash download. Uh, download the community version and the way to develop on community is the same for enterprise. So, thank you for developing a great company from Frederick. Thank you for rewarding us. What do you think about open sourcing migration suite for community modules? It's, I don't think we'll, we, from time to time, we think about it, but uh, we are not convinced we should do it right now. The reason we, ha we need some features that are not open source is because we obviously we need to do revenues because all revenues allow us to develop more open source features. So it's always a trade-off. If we sacrifice and put more in open source, that means we will be able to pay less developer in order to develop new open source features. So it's a trade-off. Uh, for now, we think that the trade-off is good the way it is. We have 80% uh, of the features, I, I think it's close to closer to 75% of the features and the commits and the time we spent on the software on Odoo community, the open source version and 25% on the enterprise version, and I think it's a good ratio. We shouldn't do uh, more in one on or the other. Um, the reason why migration scripts are not open source is because first you have an uh, open source alternative, which is the uh, project from the OCA, Open Upgrade. And the second is that migration is more service than a platform. 
Uh, I mean, on a lot of different projects, you have to customize the script and adapt compared to the specific uh, configuration of the customer. And if we have a platform that doesn't run perfectly, people will get frustrated. They will have the feeling that it works, but it doesn't work. And so what we do uh, for us, it's a service with a lot of testing and we adapt the script for each database. And because it's a service, just open sourcing the, the script one will one do the job uh, totally. So we prefer to keep it in the, uh, as a global offer where it works perfectly, but it's not open source. Um, what's the strategy to fill the gap in the documentation, both user and developer? I see a lot of complaints about it um, from Antoine. But it's not a strategy. I mean, it's more that we have to put more resources on it. Uh, for the documentation, we already recruited more. Uh, we have three new people in content uh, in the marketing team to, to, to create the documentation for the product, um, which is, uh, no, it's more than three because we have people in the US, so it's probably five. Uh, more people who are working on product documentation, so it's it's improving. Uh, for the technical documentation, I haven't followed the efforts that have been done, but uh, clearly it's a priority. Please explain the strategy to comply with the accessibility regulation requirement for public organization. I, I'm not sure what's the uh, WCAG law. What I know is that uh, Odoo, as a, uh, I don't think any other ERP are, is more accessible than Odoo. We, we had an employee who, are, who was blind working on Odoo, and uh, the feedback we got, it, it did the, all the adaptations needed on the software so that it's uh, compliant for blind people. Uh, and the feedback we had is that he couldn't find the management software that was as accessible as Odoo. It was two years ago, so maybe things have a little bit changed, but uh, even in the test we do uh, in our run bot, we test for accessibility of everything we develop. So I think we are pretty good, but we should improve. But I don't know uh, specifically your, uh, the requirement you are talking about, so I can't answer to that. Did you hire experts for the sales strategy from the start? I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, if it's expert to deliver the service or, it's, or if it's expert... Okay, maybe Virginie, if you can uh, rephrase your, your question, it, it, it will help. Which is the strategy versus NetSuite with competitors? Um, the strategy is we don't care about competitors. We don't care about NetSuite, we don't care about SAP because we don't consider them as competitors. Um, and let me explain this. The equipment rate of the market of fully integrated management software on the mid-sized companies is less than 18% equipment rate. So basically, 82% of the companies have nothing, nothing integrated. So they have a website, they have spreadsheet, they have something for the inventory, for the accounting, but nothing integrated. 82%. So what does it mean? It means that despite the fact that Microsoft, Oracle, and SAP spend billions of dollars on the mid-sized companies market, they failed because the equipment rate is only 18%. 82% couldn't afford this software, find that they are too expensive, too bloated, too complex, and uh, they don't want to use it. So what we are fighting again for is to um, do something that is affordable to the... 18% uh, was for the mid-sized company. The small companies, I don't know the number, but it's probably less than 10% or maybe less than 5% are equipped in fully integrated management software. So basically, the market doesn't use um, small and mid-sized company man integrated management software. On the large companies, it's saturated. They all have something. They all have ICP, probably. So it's not about fighting for the competition for these 18% who could afford uh, paying on fully integrated management software. What we are doing is making the technology of very efficient productivity, productive management software affordable to all the small and the mid-sized companies. And nobody succeeding to do that. So it's more a technical challenge than a competitive challenge. It's more about improving the software or service offer so that the price is slower, that the features are better, so that we cover more in standard to reach these people because the small and mid-sized companies, they are very complex. They do accounting, they work in different languages, they have multiple warehouses, they do social marketing, they have an e-commerce, they have a point of sale, so it's complex but they don't have the budget to spend hundreds of thousands of euros or months of implementation. So it's complex, but you have to do it at an affordable uh, service price and subscription price. And that's something nobody succeeded to do. So it's not a market of competitors. It's about doing something that nobody succeeded to do. So the challenge is more about improving the product and the service. Uh, do you have any information that any company is working with freight and forwarding 
So we did an implementation for the group Yoast in, in Belgium. It's a large uh, transport company. We have uh, other transport companies using Odoo. I don't know uh, all of them. Uh, but you, you'll probably find some of them in the success uh, stories or uh, contact one of our account manager and they will route you to the, some clients uh, in that area. Uh, is Odoo long-term plan to specialize in the small and mid-sized business market or eventually be more competitive with the large market competitors such, such as SAP and Salesforce? So our mindset is the small and the mid-sized company. That's our primary focus. But we grow fast on that and know uh, what we did are uh, really interesting to large companies too. So I would say we sign projects with more than 1,000 users close to every week. Uh, so we are uh, working on the large companies uh, too. So now we have two departments, one for the large companies and one for the small and the mid-size. Our priority remains the small and the mid-size. Uh, but I have to say we have a lot of success on the large companies because uh, this market was completely bloated with dinosaurs and expensive price. So we have a huge opportunity there too. But in marketing, uh, we only focus on the small and mid-size. So if you look at uh, the ads we do and the billboards and the content we produce, we mostly focus on the small and the mid-size, despite the fact that in sales and service, we have departments that address the large companies. Uh, will Odoo consider doing a lightweight employee self-service or enterprise? This one for you, we know about so many customers. Yes, we already have that. If you go to Odoo Online, you can start with, if I will share my screen, you can start with a... Uh, any, any application and it's free. So let's say you want an accounting software, you go to the accounting app and it's free forever. Uh, so for the people who need only one thing, like a point of sale for a shop, an accounting software for an accountant or a website for a company, it's free forever and with support and maintenance and so on. So we already uh, consider a lightweight version. Uh, and next, uh, we also have a light pricing for everyone. I mean, 18 euro or $6 in Africa and Asia or $25 in, in the US for what we offer per user and per month, for what you offer is basically nothing. Uh, for the top notch, the best software on the market, the price is so low that there is, the price is not an issue anymore. The price of the service is still an issue. That's something we still work to uh, improve our methodologies and being able to deliver more in less time so that it's more affordable for the customer. Uh, so we work a lot with the partners in order to, to improve that year after year. Uh, when will our test training database be upgraded to version 15? Uh, you can already submit your database on upgrade.odoo.com and uh, for now it's for test purposes only. Uh, but it's, the platform is open, we upgrade database, so it might work or not depending on the database. It's going to be for production ready database probably in two months. I'm working on my thesis and this is such a fortunate and I'm having opportunity to talk to you. I have this question, if e-factory in invoicing is available in community version? Yes, uh, it depends on the country because if e-invoicing is different from one country to another. From the way you wrote e-factory, I believe you are from Germany? No, I'm not sure. Or Netherlands with UBL? Uh, so it depends on the country, but uh, usually the e-invoicing system are part of our invoicing app, which is open source. Uh, regarding localization, what's the strategy you are using to develop and include new localization features from different countries? Um, basically, we have a team of, uh, that does all the localization. Uh, we work with partners, so if you are a partner, I don't know, John, uh, just contact or us and uh, we'll work with you if you feel like some of the things should be improved. We have a team of developers. Our issue is not to develop the feature, but to have the feedback from the partners or the customers so that we know what to develop. So we have the resources, but we need more collaboration uh, in some countries to improve the localization. So please contact your point of contact at Odoo. It will route you to the product owner who is managing the localization and we can work together on that. Uh, question, sometimes there are low quality modules on the app store. Is there any plan to have a good quality apps there? No. Uh, no, I think it's like uh, the Android app store. There is uh, 35,000 applications currently on the app store for Odoo. Um, we have a rating mechanism where people can rate. You see how many people downloaded it. So you have kind of a rating system done by the community, but we have no plan to certify the application ourselves or improve the code ourselves because it's way too much, 35,000 applications. Uh, and most of the time, I believe you don't need community modules. For the majority of the direct customer we do ourselves, we never, never use community modules because the standard is so large that you can already cover a lot with the standard. Um, is there any migration from work from Odoo we can buy, for example, like it could be in the enterprise edition? 
migration from NAS. Uh, NASA, I don't know if you are talking about migration from one version to another, like Odoo 10 to Odoo 14, in which case is the upgrade platform that I'm showing here. It's upgrade.odoo.com, it's on my screen. Or uh, if you are talking about migration from one software to Odoo, <coughs> and that's different, like the, for that we use different, you can check on our app store, which is odoo.com slash apps. If an app exists, like uh, for the application you want to integrate, or not, so you you have to import export from the database or Excel file or CSV, uh, depending on what you want to import. Do you see any limitations with Odoo versus NetSuite, or do you also view that as a branding awareness issue? Uh, I think NetSuite has issues. I was in talk in discussion with the largest implementer of NetSuite in uh, Europe, and it's a total failure. Uh, the numbers we have are like already five to ten times bigger than them in terms of user acquisitions. Uh, so obviously we have a branding issue, Odoo is small and the new entrant on the market. Uh, but then so I don't think it's a big issue, I think NetSuite has a bigger issue. Uh, but I'm talking more about Europe, I think NetSuite has more visibility in the US. Um, but at, at the end I don't care too much because I, I know one thing for sure is that the best product always wins. So you might have uh, branding issues or not be the most famous. If you have a product which is far ahead of the competition, the best products always win uh, over the time. So it, we, you, we need time, of course. Um, so a question from Danny. Many emails sending by Odoo online or SH are attacked as spam with standard configuration. Do you have a project to evolve it? So the way we do for the email, no, uh, or, or email servers are, are not tagged as spam. We monitor that, and uh, when it happens, because one of our customers sends spam with one of our server, we always uh, work with the mail servers and, and that, like any email provider. So our mail servers are not tagged as spam. Uh, what happens is that it depends on the email you compose. You have to check how you compose your email and try to. Uh, you, there are some spam software uh, reading software that, that can check the quality of your email. Uh, to know if it's good or not. How do you look for that young talent that has helped do so much? I'm not sure I understand the questions uh, from the other 247. Maybe if you can rephrase it. Does Odoo accept pull requests for new localization module for new countries? Yes. But before doing a full pull request, contact us before because our quality standards are very high. So we usually, we often refuse module because we have a different quality uh, level. We expect different quality level. And so we can work together so that we will let you know what's important, what you should take care of when you do the localization. But uh, clearly, we are very interested of pull requests for new localization modules. Can you provide more details uh, on the deal with one of the big four companies? So basically, it's all the accountancy practice. So all the accounting customer will move to Odoo. So it's massive for a specific country. And what I can tell you is that we'll probably have another one of the big four. We are still in discussion, but it's very odd. Now that Odoo has 2,000 employees, is there a change in hiring only from U, uh, U, uh, Europe policy? Um, I believe it's someone who is not from Europe that wants to work uh, in Belgium. Um, now we recruit also remote developers. So only for the developers, we accept remote positions. For Belgium, we more, we also work with non-European uh, countries, and so we under the uh, work permit and so on. So you can re retry and reapply again. Uh, Odoo is the best business suite. Are you considering to give it a BPM, business process management? No. Or some many you have found a roadmap. I'd love to be part of this as well. No, I think BPM are um, bloated by design. I mean, I, we support pretty much all the process of the company and we didn't need any BPM in Odoo. You know, before, I don't know if you knew Odoo from version seven, I think, seven or eight, we had a workflow engine in Odoo, uh, so we could support BPM. We had to drop it. It's actually much easier the way we do it now with uh, procedural uh, tri and triggers and server actions and things like that. Uh, it's more efficient than a BPM. I, I know business analysts loves BPM, but I think developers hate BPM. And at the end, what matters is the things that are simple, and BPM are not simple enough to manage the business process of a company. And we have supported so much business process with Odoo that, that we can safely say that the BPM is not required to support business process. A personal question. How to manage life when working 14 hours a day, seven days a week, seven years? 
Uh, would you consider a multi-company feature on different Odoo instances so that different Odoo instances can communicate to each other easily? No. Uh, working with different Odoo instances is never easy uh, compared to the fact to ha of having everything in a single instance. So we always choose for simplicity, and the simplicity is to have everything in one single instance. There is pretty much no use case when you need to have several instances. The only one I know is with China, and uh, because of the firewall, red firewall. But for every other instance we have seen, it's always because bad technical ideas that people have. They want to create multiple instances for because of ideology they have, but it's really justified. It's always a trade-off, and the trade-off of the complexity you bring of having multiple instances is really not worth it. Unless you have real technical challenges, like in China, you just can't communicate. Uh, in Chile, competition with other ERPs is strong. Are uh, thinking to make advertising in the media? Uh, yes, Chile is one of the important countries. So we are probably already doing online advertising. Uh, in media, no, we don't advertise in the TV and the press and so on. What we do is billboards, so you might see some billboards in the future. Uh, I'm not sure what the, what's the strategy for Chile exactly, but we are deploying billboards in Hawking Country if we find good uh, return on investment. So usually we measure based on the CPM, cost per 1,000 views. Uh, and if we succeed to have good CPM in Chile, we, we'll, we'll do it for sure. Here in the US, corporate values are becoming more important to attack the best talent. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, for instance, Microsoft supports de democracy and equal opportunities and so on. What are or do's are corporate values? Um, you know, there are extrinsic motivation and intrinsic, intrinsic motiv motivations. Uh, the large corporates, uh, yeah, they do have plans of corporate social responsibility and things like that. They, they, they have a lot of things. But nobody wants to work for them. I mean, it's boring. It's a strong corporate culture where you cannot decide. You have a lot of level of hierarchies. Uh, it's, uh, so we don't need that. I believe we motivate people with intrinsic motivation. We believe we motivate people b because we give them a lot of autonomy, real responsibilities. They have an ability to evolve super fast. Uh, and that's what we do uh, to do, and it's working very well. Uh, you know, in, uh, because we are talking about the uh, US, I think, the churn of uh, Google in uh, California is 51% per year. So despite all the plans they do to uh, retain ta talent, they have the half of the company who is leaving every year. It's, it's totally uh, inefficient. Um, and we have much, much better results in, the, in, in our San Francisco office and uh, our Buffalo office. So I believe what we do is working and we should continue doing that way, which is being sure that people have a good working environment, good salary, but also autonomy, responsibility, they evolve a lot and their job is great and they have an impact and they are working for a company that has a real impact, um, more than trying to create external projects uh, just for the branding. Uh, are you planning an approach for accountants that manage multiple clients? Yeah, we do have a lot of accounting from we use or do. And actually, what they do is they benefit from the one app free uh, accounting offer uh, on the other website. So if I uh, would share my screen, and if I go to apps, accounting. So here you can see uh, find an accountant. We have plenty of accountants using Odoo. And if you are using Odoo, you can register yourself on this page. Uh, and when you start here, it's free, basically forever. So all your um, files for all your customers are free on Odoo Online if you use Odoo for the, for do, to do their accounting. And because accountants also need the document management system, so you scan documents, they appear in the document management system, and you organize your workflow to process bills and so on from the document management system. If you start with one app free with the accounting application, you will get the document management system for free. And so all our accounting firms that are working on Odoo, they, they just have an offer which is free for everything because they use the one app free offer of Odoo Online. Are the large companies using Odoo as a single ERP solution or combined with other ERP solutions? It depends. Uh, we have companies like Wavestone, Doctor Without Border. So Wavestone is 4,000 users. Doctor Without Border is a few thousand, I don't know. Um, they, Odoo does everything. Uh, and we and companies like um, Connect Plus, it's uh, 1,000 shop. Uh, the shop expert, excellent uh, selection. Uh, they do everything on Odoo, so they are moving everything to Odoo. And we have other companies like uh, Danone, 
where they have a CP for the large corporates and they have uh, smaller companies inside of the group who run on Undo. And so they connect both together. So it depends. The majority now uh, of the large deal we sign are moving everything to Odoo. Uh, hi, Fabian. Did you enjoy the experience of filming and the manufacturing inventory location of one of Odoo's customers for the keynote recording that I showed yesterday? Yeah, it was very fun. Especially because the customer, is, it's Axedis, is uh, very friendly. He helped us a lot, and it, 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 it was great. Um, I think we should do that more, and the quality of the video was great also, uh, much better than working in the studio. Uh, where do you see Odoo in five years from now? Uh, I, I always explain the same story, but if you want to predict the future, you have to understand the past. The past started with operating system, Unix, Dr. DOS, MS DOS, Unix, BOS, and so on. And uh, fast forward today, there is only three operating systems, iOS, Linux, and Windows. And then came World Processor. Works, World Perfect, Lotus 1, 2, 3. There were plenty of World Processor. Fast forward, uh, forward today, there is only uh, Microsoft Office and Google Office, Google Docs. Uh, management software are still at the same level of uh, the uh, operating system or World processor, processor 15 years ago because of the complexity. You have the complexity of the te technical complexity, but you also have the complexity of the business. So we are still in a phase where they have plenty of uh, management software and they are they started to acquire each other so that it's reducing. And I believe in a few years, maybe not five years, but 10 years or five, between five and 15 years, uh, management software will become a commodity. Everyone will use them. It's going to be like Excel or Word uh, and there will be only be uh, two or three players. So my goal in the future is just that, is to survive, to be part of these two players that have the full market. Could it work for a municipality? Yes, we do have a lot of municipality using Odoo. We even have partners specialized on this area. Um, so you should contact one of them. Oh, I scrolled too fast. Would you consider a specific pricing for Studio as a standalone app? No. No, I mean, the whole value proposition of Odoo Enterprise is to have everything together, so we don't want to have a cheap price just for studio, it, it won't work well for us. Um, is OU, e, uh, Odoo subject to EU, EU directive for non-financial reporting? No, it depends on, uh, there are a lot of di directives, right? so it depends on your uh, industry sometimes, uh, for biotech, or um, we are doing some of them, we are doing the SOC 1 and SOC 2 report, it's more for the American companies, I believe, for the SOCs. Uh, large uh, listed companies, uh, but uh, we did everything what that was needed in the countries that were that it were needed. Like in France, there is the law of uh, first January 2000, 2018 about point of sales and accounting software for cash transactions. So we, every time there is a new directive that is important for what we do, we implement it. What we don't do is the certification because usually it's not required by law and it's a business uh, that creates complexity in your product for no good reason. So. We avoid certification, but we comply to every directive we have uh, that covers our business. Um, what can uh, customers and partners expect in terms of Odoo focus in the coming year? That we continue doing what we have always done. Focus on building a great product and an affordable service. Uh, that's our key area. We, we spend a lot of time working on the product, analyzing how users work the product, understanding our cashier, our worker, and accountant, what are their difficulties, a purchase manager, a recruiter, and developing s software so that they can do more in less time. And we'll continue to do that. It's our core focus. And we'll make that affordable uh, in terms of the price of the project, but also in the price of the subscription. Um, what does Odoo look for in an employee? Smart people. Um, very smart people. People being able to learn. Uh, quickly and understand things that they don't uh, know uh, currently. So uh, most of all the tests we do when we recruit is about uh, logic tests, IQ tests, uh, and checking uh, after that uh, according to the job. So if it's a developer, we have development tests. Why you do the implementation project itself? Don't you think that it's better to invest that people and effort in the product and not in the project? So that's a very good question from Lu Lu Lucio. So why do we sell directly rather than relying on the partners who do the service? Uh, in the beginning, we, that's what we did. In the beginning, we only uh, relied on the partners and the partner were offering the service. 
and we had a lot of issues. Some partners were good, some partners were not good, but we had a, a lot of issues. We tried to educate the partners on, a, on working differently because they were selling very expensive, large, complex projects. And at the time, people had an idea of do being complex on the market. Everyone had the story of a project that costed too much, lasted too long. And uh, we, we tried to educate the partners and tell them you should work differently, and it didn't work. The partners were telling us, no, you don't know the business, we know we are doing the implementation, you don't know, uh, so let us do. And we started to really, really suffer from that. The brand, the brand started to really suffer from that. So we decided we had to launch direct so that we can build expertise and then have better and more valuable feedback for our partners with implementation methodologies and things like that. So working direct helped us to improve the product because we had direct feedback and not indirect feedback from the, from the partners, uh, but also uh, to better understand the project, build methodologies and push these methodologies to partners and prove them it works. Um, and so now uh, we notice that if you want to make things evolve, we have to lead by example. That's what we do now. That's also the reason why we started a large company. Because we lead by example. We'll show how it works and then we'll educate the market and the partner network on how they can sell to larger companies. Because we're expecting that the others do it well doesn't work well. We, we suffered from that in the past. Um, obviously, we are not a service company. Huh? Um, eight 15% of revenues only come from the service. So we still rely massively on the partner network uh, to deliver the service. But we need to do it directly because the product evolved much faster since we did it directly. And now if a partner is uh, making offers that are way too expensive, at least we have an alternative. You can say, no, no, it, that's, that's it's completely crazy. You, you are not doing something good for the customer. And so because of the fact that next to that, there is another offer which is cheaper, which is the direct offer. It aligned the market on uh, something that we think is a good value for the money for the customers. Um, Mexican localization. Is there a strategy to speed up the development process to a complete taxatory development for electronic invoicing? I don't know. I think we did most of the thing we had to do for Mexican localization, so we have to check. I know that for our own database we had issues, but it's more it was more about the multi-company system to integrate with other companies, so we had to refactor. But I think we did pretty much everything we needed to do. So if I miss something, it's good that we, you should contact your uh, the product owner team at Odoo, ask your account manager, and we'll, we'll check up. I, I would be surprised because we have uh, companies using Odoo by the, in Mexico by the thousands. It's one of the markets that, that totally exploded for us. Uh, Odoo apps is an unmanaged marketplace with a lot of poor code apps. Why don't you manage and keep just the apps that at least can be used in production? Because I believe every application can be useful. Even if it's not perfect, we have partners that use apps and fix them. Uh, so, and because we are open and we are based on communities, we don't want to say yes and no to some, some uh, apps that would create a lot of frustration in the network. So we prefer to rely on the, um, the votes of the community and show what are the best ones based on votes and the number of downloads, rather than trying to uh, censor ourselves. Why data migration in Odoo is much difficult, like updating the data after changing the field tip from integer to char? Not difficult, huh? You just alter table. Uh, uh, it's two lines of Postgres SQL. It's not related to Odoo, by, by the way, it's because of uh, Postgres. Um, I mean, technical things are t sometimes difficult. I, I have no answer. What I can say is that we worked a lot on the import tool from the user interface. It's not it, from from version to version. It, it's very it, it gets better and better. In Odoo 15, it's really perfect. We detect lots of formats of dates. We do recommendation from the user. If something doesn't pass, we propose alternatives so that you're not blocked when it's processing the file. So we did a lot of things so that the data import gets easier uh, for you. Tunisian user localization. Um, question from Raka. Uh, you can do a pull request uh, if. No, there are probably community modules. I have no plan of us doing it in uh, an official version, but I think it's time that we should uh, check it, yes. Why is it mandatory to use Odoo Maintenance Service to use DOD? Uh, I'm not sure what's DOD. Uh, sorry, Lucio, if you can uh, complete your question. What do you expect your market share will be five years from now? Five years for no, 
3%, 4%. <laughs> I mean, we do less than 1%. If you double every year, it's still 3 or 4% after five years. Um, and what do you think about small products like Nestle that have huge funding from Oracle? I don't think you need funding to do what we do. Uh, I don't think actually you you cannot just recruit 2,000 developers and expect them to do a good product. It doesn't work that way. It takes time, it takes iteration, and it takes the right guy. And these things are not a matter of funding. Uh, so I'm not afraid of uh, NetSuite. I mean, I mean, if you have an experience with NetSuite, I do. I worked on the software. Um, and I analyzed how customers use it. You probably have noticed that over the past five years, it did not evolve. If you have experience with Odoo, you probably have noticed that over the past five years, every year, it's a massive improvement. So it's not like we have to catch up with them. It's We are growing at a much, much faster pace. So there, there is no issue for the years to come. And I don't think that Odoo will stop innovating and by magic, they will start innovating. I don't see that coming. Um, what would be your single most important advice to a partner? Single most important advice. Uh, ah. I think I have 10 advice. Do I have time for that? Let me check. I was preparing a presentation for partners, actually. Uh, and I I made a slide about the 10 biggest mistakes. So tomorrow, we have a partner meeting with partners in uh, Europe coming to Belgium uh, with a with lot of different presentations and so on. And that's one of them. Uh, the most common mistakes we see in, in our partner networks are the following. We have a lot of partners who generate the majority of their revenues on new projects or new customers. Where how you can do much higher margins service on existing customer. Uh, we have a lot of partners who have an ineffective implementation methodology. When we talk about methodology, they are talking about Scrum or Agile or things like that. We are not implementation methodology. It's development methodology, but it's not business implementation methodologies. We have a lot of partners who lack accounting expertise. And so they badly reflect on the system. I so often ha have stories of accountant that comes to us and that says, Odoo is very bad in accounting. And when they meet our accountant expert, they say, oh, wow, Odoo is much better than what I was using before. And the thing is, in order to speak to an accountant, you have to be an accountant. And a lot of partners don't have the resource, which is OK, I understand that. But then they should use our resource when it happens so that uh, we can uh, build trust with the accountant of their customers. Uh, we have partners that are spending costs in their external collector. They develop their own e-commerce or own point of sales, and they don't have the business model of soft software or another large revenues you need to make this product grow fast. So it costs a lot for the for the customer. It's a software. It, they usually have software that doesn't evolve well. So I don't think it's usually positive for the customer. Uh, we have a lot of partners who use developers as project manager. They take the best developers and they make them become project manager. I believe the best project managers come from the business side. And even if the developer is smart, he won't get to that level because everything is easy for him, and so he will say to everything. Um, and I'm a developer. Huh? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Um, that's it for the, I would say, the five top five uh, issue I see with partners. Uh, how do you decide, uh, do you put in community versus enterprise? Very good question from uh, Julie. Um, typically, if it's a community market with a mass market, it's open source. Uh, it should be open source or in as part of the community. A good example would be the e-learning. The uh, e-learning of Odoo or Odoo.com slash slides or the app for e-learning. Uh, it's open source and it's community because it, it's a large market it's for schools and universities. There are already open source products on the market like Moodle. There are plenty of alternatives uh, like uh, uh, even YouTube or, or things like that. So it's something where our value is, to get, is more in attracting a lot of users rather than generating revenues. So uh, Odoo e-learning is uh, a community module. On the other hand, if it's a niche market uh, that doesn't attract a lot of companies, but those companies are ready to pay a lot for that, it's better if it's enterprise. Uh, a good example is field service. Field service, we made it enterprise because it's a niche market. The only uh, existing solution on the market are quite expensive, 150 euro per user per month. Um, so it makes sense to put a value on that and extract value from that so that we can build our product faster. 
Frédéric Masson, excellent not to fall in the BPM trap. Yes, BPM, ETL, um, SOA, all those things are, are big traps that large companies like. Uh, enterprise service bus, uh, all the things that uh, we try to avoid. What about e-commerce now? Do you see competition between Odoo and Magento? I think on the Magento already lost the war. Not against Odoo, but against Shopify. And so Magento is, to Magento is already totally out of scope. It's blo especially since the version 2, it's totally bloated. It's not on par with... Uh, and Odoo e-commerce is way, way above, much faster, way more modern. They don't have a page builder, uh, at least a modern page builder. So I believe Magento, had in, as a product point of view, uh, lost the war a few years ago. Um, the key now is to be sure uh, we provide more than Shopify, which, which is quite good, while staying open and with the value of being open source uh, in order to attract the market. Uh, do you still have contact with the Odoo code? Yes, but not that much. Uh, I sometimes developed, but it's like a few weeks per, per year. Uh, but I follow up uh, most of the development, so I, I still understand most of the code. Uh, I participated a lot in the new uh, uh, HTML editor that you have in the in Odoo. You know the collaborative editor when you can write slash command. Uh, I participated a lot on this project at the beginning of the project, not not anymore. Uh, is Fabian involved in with blockchain and AI study? No, I believe people overvalue blockchain. I understand blockchain obviously and uh, AI too. I I developed some AI stuff too. But the actual use case of using block blockchain are very limited. Um, we have one, it's like the, to, to guarantee the data are immutable in the accounting in France. Uh, we use a blockchain mechanism. We use uh, AI, but usually the AI algorithms are pretty simple. Huh? It's uh, Bayesian na na naive, native filters are, are usually doing the job quite well. Um, um, and sometimes even more than neural network because neural network are very costly. Um, so I follow up the task we do, but I don't develop on AI. M would you consider adding mind mapping features to Odoo project? Yes, I was considering it, especially in the HTML editor. So you could use mind map in the HTML. Now that we have the new HTML editor, which is very powerful and flexible, we can add a lot of things to it. Uh, I have a problem with the TV, Jeff. La TV va se couper. Is there a any plan to add a second unit of measure uh, to stock units? Um, second unit of measure on stock units. I think what you have in mind is what we did with packaging. Like you could have um, three kilo of a ham, and it's actually three ham, which are actually five kilos. Um, we we can manage that with the, the new packaging system in Odoo 15. You have to look at the new packaging system because it's uh, super efficient in Odoo 15. Uh, is it possible to promote Odoo for a company with, which is outsourcing most of the process? Wearers, repairs, manufacturing, return? obviously, yes. We are extremely good in subcontracting. I haven't seen a, a software like SAP Oracle. They can do subcontracting efficiently. And Odoo, I believe, do subcontracting sub the right way. There are a lot of subtle workflows in subcontracting, and we do it very well. And we can also work with uh, 3PLs and things like that with API. Uh, I, I've done a few customers where there is basically uh, no operational people in the company. Uh, it's everything subcontracted, and it's efficient to, to ever do to manage everything. Uh, why do do pro project himself? I already answered that. Um, when will be the version 15 certification be released? Soon. Maybe in one or two weeks maximum. Odoo import tool is great, especially if you compare to SAP. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, ah, developers, DOD is developers on demand. Yeah, but I forget what was the question. Why does it take so long to upgrade Odoo? Do you plan to improve it moving forward? Yes, we massively improved already. Uh, we are currently upgrading 3,000 uh, customers per month. It's fast. Um, and we are probably the only players on the market who upgrade all its customers at no extra fee. So it's already a challenge in itself. Go with SAP or Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, when you have to upgrade, it's a new project and it costs a lot of money close to a new project. Uh, with Odoo, it's part of the service we offer as part of the Odoo Enterprise, no extra fee. It's already an, uh, an amazing achievement. 
yet it's a very complex uh, task. So we had to put our best developer on the migration department. That's what we do. To, well, that's what we did 18 months ago, and we are seeing the benefits from now because now we are at a rhythm of 3,000 database per, per, per month, where before it was something like one or 200 per month. And the database uh, pass uh, nearly automatically. A lot of them know. Um, is it possible in version 15 to list certain projects in certain website only? Yes, and it was also possible before. There is a website field on the product form that you can set uh, which website is it available uh, on uh, on the product form, or you can create a new IAR rule yourself to it uh, with Adobe Studio. Do you plan to work on website impl implementation page line? Yes. So we did a great implementation methodology for uh, implementing ERP software, business software. Uh, we plan to do the same uh, for uh, deploying new websites or e-commerce. So we started to recruit developer uh, designers that are available on demand. And these designers, we are setting up the methodology for them so that we can create good value for the money uh, for the users. So we'll release the implementation methodology for uh, websites as we did for the ERP pro probably in a few months, weeks, once we get enough uh, feedback from what we have done with the first customers. Um, do you plan to attract more developers to work at Odoese? Yes, it's actually one of our struggle uh, points is to, we have difficulties to recruit the developers we wanted to. So we are looking for more developers. We even have an offer where we pay 10,000 euro the first day without any constraint to uh, new developers in Belgium. WordPress has 60% market share. Do you have any plans to provide integration solution between Odoo and WordPress platform? No. No, because I, prov I believe that it's much, much, much easier to move the customer to Odoo rather than doing an integration with WordPress. Connectors are always painful. They don't manage all the process like coupons, promotions, tracking of the visitors from one f from the visitor to the invoice. Uh, you can do that uh, efficiently with Connector. And we want to do something which is at the same time affordable and great for a customer. And that means no Connector. That means just moving the customer to Odoo. Um, do you know when the version 15 with certification will be available? In a few weeks, soon. Uh, what was the route you took from development to management? I uh, actually did both uh, always, so I'm not sure if I took a route from one to the other. I still do both. Uh, most of my time today is uh, on the product. I'm not developing, but I'm working with the product owners and the developers. Uh, so I'm very well, strongly involved in development yet. Are you planning to support the logistic business? I have a client who does not have an app to support the distribution of their own products. Uh, we do a lot of logistic business, but I'm, if, you, if you can be more precise in the time of feature you are looking for, I can answer. What is your name? Why isn't Odoo in the... My name is Fabien. Why isn't Odoo in the Gartner MQ, Magic Quadrant? Uh, because we don't want to pay Gartner for that. Um, it's just that uh, it's a game that we cannot win. Even if we work with Gartner, uh, subcontract stuff to the analyst in order to be positioned in the ma magic quadrant. We will never pay as much as SCP or Oracle is doing. So we will be lower in the in the quadrant. And so because we cannot win this game, we prefer not to play the game. Um, do we have plans for real costing as an option to inventory? Costing per serial number, for example. No, we do support already in costing FIFO, average, and standard price. We have no plan to introduce real costing. I mean, between FIFO, FIFO, average, and standard price, you already have pretty much everything you need. Do you plan to include a Notion-like app, like internal wiki at doc? With the website builder and the project app or notes, we now we know have the same slash command ops features than Notion, so we are very close. And collaborative editing of the notes or the task in the project management. So you have all you need to to have something like Notion in the project management app. Uh, but going further into the wiki style, maybe. Uh, it's the website builder. You can do you can create a website and it's the same and have page and links and very similar. Are you on diet or meditation? 
We want you in best shape as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Arnold. <laughs> In a multi-company environment, we can assign a product to all companies or one company. Yes, that's true. Uh, only, but not a subset of companies. Is it a fix on the roadmap? It's not a fix. Uh, we want to keep it that way because it's easier for the end user. But um, it's very easy to change. You know, you can change the uh, access rules. It's the object IR dot rule that you can change the studio or a technical feature. Just create another rule and you can change the rule, add a field. Uh, multiple companies change the rule and it's, it's it's just a setup it takes five minutes if you want to do that so we don't plan to change the software because we choose the easiest configuration possible for the users but if you want to change that it, it's just a five minute setup uh, to configure the, the access rights is there any way to calculate sales commissions in Odoo? if yes what's the best module the best module is spreadsheet documents uh, the spreadsheet integrated with Odoo because Every company has different ways to work on sales commission. Some computes based on monthly recurring revenue, some others based on the margins, others based on the sales revenue, others based on different KPIs, based on different product categories. So typically sales commissions are very complex from one company to the other. So doing it in spreadsheets makes a lot of sense. And if you do it with Odoo Spreadsheet, which is part of the document application of Odoo, you connect that with the database and your spreadsheet updates in real time and you have something great with filter where you can filter on the salesperson and so on. You, you, you even have sales commission templates in the document management system. So you can create your own and I will do it. It's my last thing of the day. I will do it quickly here. If you go to uh, the app, uh, if I go to document, I hope I have it. Yes, I installed it. Let's create a new spreadsheet from budget, budget, pipeline. Do I have sales commission? Yes, here. You have templates uh, in Odoo that already exist, but obviously you can change it. It's just a spreadsheet. And uh, or it's not a good one. Uh, you, you should try uh, on stuff. And you can build your own based on all the pivot table that you export uh, um, from the CRM or from the invoice or whatever you want. So it's time for you, me to leave you. Thanks everyone for, for the follow up. Uh, and uh, hope to see you again in the next talks. Thank you. Bye.